Okay, so let's look at a quick example of hypothesis testing. And what I'm going to do is the example that you can also find in your study guides. It is on page 70. And in this case, we want to try and explain the quantity of beer consumption uh, as given by a few of other explanatory variables. Um, so let's look at, we've, we've looked at the four steps now. Now try and do this in practice. So first, if we look at the equation that is given, they tell us that the quantity of beer QB is a function of the price of beer, PB, uh, the price of other alcoholic beverages, your income, and then a time dummy variable. So in this case, we want to look at whether each of these explanatory variables are statistically significant or not in this equation. If we start with the first one, the price of beer, now remember our four steps. So first what we need to do is we need to set up our hypothesis. In this case, what relationship do we expect from an economic theory point of view between the price and the quantity? You will most likely recall that there is a negative relationship. Let's assume that beer is a normal product. So as the price of beer increases, we expect people to buy less of that. Now remember we said the way to set up our hypothesis is that if we have our null and our alternative hypothesis, in this case for the price of beer, the one that we expect will be the alternative hypothesis. So in this case, we expect the coefficient of the price of beer to be smaller than zero, meaning there should be a negative relationship. Alternatively then, this coefficient of price of beer will be bigger than or equal to zero. Now, if you just think about this already, if we say, as in the null hypothesis, that this coefficient is equal to zero, it means that effectively, this price will have no effect on our dependent variable. So keep this in mind as we go through the rest of the steps. 